In today's video, I'll go through why I sold almost every single AFCON player and why I bought someone that could be extremely risky for the future. Uh, and also, I will talk about the new Roto Glory that is coming very, very soon. I'm so excited about it. You will participate, you will be able to win uh, from my account. It will just be fantastic. And some new strategies that I'm trying to implement now and take that. Uh, the new strategies and the road to glory and try to put it together. I'll explain it. It will be fantastic um, But first of all, I made a huge trade with Pavel Trader and I thought uh, to myself first uh, If we go on sorry data Let's search up Lionel Messi. I was so close to making it into Miami collection and in my top of my head I'm still considering doing it in limited of course building a completely full uh, in Inter Miami stack because they have players that get extremely good AA scores you know me, I'm not the biggest Messi fan at all but now I'm thinking about it from a financial viewpoint that this could actually be a very good idea in a 1-0 loss players like Miller here, Busquets, Messi and now uh, Luis Suarez will be in the team and I think uh, and also Jordi Alba, of course, the team will just be strengthened. And uh, in terms of uh, the players being very old, the prices aren't that high. And that is what I'm thinking about. Uh, but uh, in terms of what I actually did, uh, I'm moving to the road to glory. I'm going all out. And I don't want, or I don't think I will like uh, say the whole road to glory rules and everything. Uh, but yeah, you can just watch this trade. I sent away Abdou Diallo, Stefano Sensi, Issa Diop, Muntasar Talbi, Stefano Sensi, Darlene Jungva, Donny van de Beek, Karl Toko Ekambi, Franco Nieka and Samuel Mutasami, N72 Euros. To get players like Federico Ravaglia, Alexander Isak, Sven Botman, Lilian Brasier, Roman del Castillo, Alex Remiro, Anthony Riolt, Chris Fyrish, Enzo Milut and Hiroki Ito. And if you see here, Every single card is from the new season. And yeah, I overpaid a little bit, but one of the reasons for that is that I want to make this Road to Glory sooner rather than later. And the Road to Glory will probably name the Collection 2 Glory, where I can only collect from, uh, of course, specific teams. And uh, that the journey or the plan is to play Sawyer as it was meant to be, to collect teams and to use them and play as many competitions as possible. And I will have a spreadsheet where I go through how much I've purchased every single player for and how much I, um, I will gain or lose. And the goal is to win the money back, of course. And also, uh, every 10th game week, we will have a tournament, a like, small rivals tournament or something, that uh, I will give away some of the rewards we have won from the Road to Glory. And it's, it is just uh, to get uh, to watch football and get to know uh, the teams a little bit better. I don't think I'll go in depth about uh, which collections, but if you see those players, you can get an indication of where I'm going. I won't say anything more. Uh, and also, uh, I will go a little bit more in depth about this trade because this was almost every single AFCON player left I had given away, not given away, but traded away. And that is also the Cap 240 Super Air. So many of you guys want me to play Cap 240 Super Air, and I totally get it. I want to do as well, but in terms of my enjoyment of the game, it is to open rewards and it is to open cards to rewards. And for me personally, the price tag doesn't mean too much. So for me to open a tier 2 limited is uh, the same of opening a 50 euro threshold, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you guys want it, so that's why I'm asking. But I thought either way, I want to make a Roto Glory and I'm going to do it. So I don't think I will spend that much on the Roto Glory. So... If you know what I mean, I won't spend that much, so I, of course we'll have extra budget to the Cap 240 Super Air. But I thought, now, when the upcoming leagues is coming, let's let's just look at it. Of course, MLS, uh, Stefan Frey, ML, MLS goalkeeper. Let's look at him. He has fixtures, and that is in some weeks. Right? And 
yeah, the prices of these players are so expensive now. It's the start of the new season, and I can come with other examples from um, from the J League. If we go to Pavel Trader, I were very close to pick up, or I can't find it now because I yeah I don't need to go into him. I don't want to do that right now. Um, but it was a J League player. And he was also extremely expensive, like 1,500 euros, a keeper that isn't any special, uh, just ridiculous price. And I feel like there are so many on the same page as me thinking about moving into Cap 240 Super Air for the MLS, for the J-League. And K-League I think is very underrated because there is a longer time period too that kicks off. So getting a good deal here is extremely hard. And of course I've seen with uh, other content creators moving to Cap 240 Super Air, it isn't smoothly, like I've seen no one actually nailing it. And if I'm going to move to Super Air, Cap 240 Super Air, I want to nail it. So I won't rush it. And in terms of limited, if you do a bad investment, you can sell him probably some hours after that. Uh, but with Super Air, you can wait in many, many weeks. So one purchase needs to pay off. Like that is something that is so important and also uh, the reasoning for me not wanting to do this is because we never know with Stefan Frey. If he gets an injury, he could be out for the rest of the season and not play football again, for what I know. And he is the player I want the most. Of course, I don't think that is going to happen, but you never know with football. And the thing is, I want to have the money so I can buy the backup keeper for the Seattle Sounders team. And also, one thing I don't like is the transfer window is still open in the MLS for a long time. The J-League, K-League and everything so that is also one of the reasons and also i don't know anything about it i don't know anything about k league j league mls the games are played when i'm at sleep so it's just nothing like i've just the idea was so lucrative i was so close to go through and do it but then and more and more i thought about it for me it isn't worth it 1200 for a 37 year old goalkeeper that could get injury that ruins his entire uh, the rest of his career um, of course, now I'm very, very negative. Of course, there are many upsides by doing this because I get some extra weeks with utility. But looking at it from an outside perspective and not only thinking about the gains, I think this is the right decision to wait a little bit. But before, I know you guys want me to play Cap 40 Super and start that journey. Oh, I got out bid on this player here, right here, but never mind. Um, uh, yeah, you, so like this is uh, investment and hopefully this won't be my, like this is a road to glory. Just keep this in mind. This trade right here won't change the cap to 40 super plans. I will go a, a little bit more in depth about that. But first of all, let's go through the trade because this is for like another specific of the gallery. So uh, when it comes to cap to 40 super, that is going to be like this won't have any impact on that just so that, uh, just to let you know guys um, and I'll explain why my cap 240 super rare plans have changed a little bit but I will still play it very very soon so uh, stick with me but first of all let's uh, or I have already uh, taken this into consideration it will be every single player here was about 150 euros and I thought uh, I want those players, I want to make a Roto Glory and I want to get rid of a lot of AFCON players and players I don't use in the club. So I thought why not trade with Pavel Trader. I know that he has a rule that, not a rule, but when you trade with him, cards versus cards, he likes to get, take 130% so he can almost guarantee make a profit out of it. And for me that is fair. But I try to be a little bit smart because Donny van, Donny van de Beek was last sold for 88 euros here and I traded him in and I said to Pavel Trader uh, with Donny van de Beek, Darlin Jungva, Karl Toko Kambi and every single player on this list uh, all these players plus the, mo plus the money is about a little over 200 euros I think so I thought that was uh, very very fair for Pavel Trader because his players are only worth 150 euros but um, so I said this to Pavel Trader, uh, do you think that's fair? And he, uh, I think he counter offered a little bit higher uh, amount of money and then I accepted because uh, I knew that Donny van de Beek was going to go down. So he went down 30 euros uh, like some hours after the trade. So uh, when we look at it, look back at it, I he earned like 20 euros. But let's be honest, I would, I would have uh, had to wait 
many 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 months to get sold uh, a player like Abdou Diallo uh, Darlene Jungva uh, Motosami Onyeka Although I could sell these players, uh, it's just so much easier to just trade it with players that I will have use for in the Road to Glory. I won't go any in depth about those players because I will do that in uh, the announcement video of the Road to Glory and the first episode. Uh, I think it will be on Sunday, so stay tuned for that, it will be incredible. Uh, I hope at least. And now, let's look at the Cap 240 super strategy that I'm currently uh, planning ahead uh, for because I thought I don't know anything about uh, MLS, J-League, K-League, but I will or I want to play or watch football in the summer. And I will, I want to watch the games because like I have no interest in MLS, J-League or K-League. So I thought the Norwegian League, why don't you utilize that? Because I live in Norway, I can watch those games, although I know and nothing about it, but I have some friends on Twitter that is experts actually, so uh, I can get a lot of information there. Uh, and that's, uh, that's, <laughs> that is why uh, I have looked at some players in yesterday's video, video I think, no, two days ago. Mm, you saw me go through uh, the most under undervalued players, and that was Andre Hansen, he was on the list. And he is very. Te I'm very tempted to pick him up when I got the fence for it, because he will most likely be be a nail goalkeeper for odd, which is very nice. Uh, and also, I can make a full uh, elite serien uh, team in Cap 240 Super, and it will be very fun because I uh, like we can watch the game, uh, and um, I think it will be easier for me to win the threshold there, because it's easier for me to get knowledge there compared to the other leagues, uh, but this is just um, like a small idea uh, and also uh, another thought is to go even more back in uh, yeah just incredible price here or this is a little bit too expensive for my liking actually but this is some players I really like um, but I want like that is my idea right now for the Captain Ford Super of course I need to look ahead and also the reason for me wanting now to pick up some... Um, or do you know what? I will explain that in Sunday's video because that is a lot of the point of the announcement video that I don't spoil it completely. Uh, but still, um, I think the trade was very fair to Powell Trader and also uh, I was so close to making an Inter Miami co collection and I may do it, although they haven't been great. Um, so now you know a little bit where my gallery is heading. Uh, the Norwegian season starts in a little under two months. So my plan is now to focus more on limited divisions. In, of course, in terms of the Road to Glory as well, that will be a extreme big part of that. And I think I will give away or remove the other players so it looks clean that we go, uh, that we know those players are from the Road to Glory, those players do use there, there and there, and the rest of the players I don't use, let's put it that way, because I want it to be very clear that um, this is a road to glory, this is to see uh, like me coming from um, a gallery size from this worth that and that and that and see if we can implement that uh, to the higher ranks in terms of value, money, etc. And um, how you can do the same thing and try to learn as much from it because I think the limited uh, divisions are so fun to play. Uh, because the cards are uh, at values where you don't feel like you're paying. Like, when you see a rare card worth almost 100 euros, it hurts to buy that price, but when you buy a limited player worth 40 euros, like, what is the worst that can happen? That you lose a little over 10 euros? But if you buy a rare player worth the same for like 3, 400, if it does very badly, you can lose over 100 euros. So. Uh, if you if that makes sense for you guys so current plan focus on limited now and then move to super rare uh, hopefully afterwards and uh, yeah i hope this video was helpful for you guys in terms of uh, a little bit of my my gallery plans and because some of you have asked about uh, the cap 240 plans in super rare and i hope uh, this video answered that and also um now we can finally take that uh, afghan chapter and close it off it was a success in terms of, 
Like I really enjoyed planning ahead for it, but it didn't pay off. I made a video specifically about that, so it will probably come up either there or here on the screen if I can fix that. And I will see you next one. Bye bye and take care. Peace.